Myanmar received around 3 million international visitors in 2014. The country aims to be one of the fastest growing tourist destinations in the Asia-Pacific region. Inlay Lake's stunning landscapes and unique cultural heritage make it a top attraction. In the past two years, around 50 new hotels have appeared around the lake. Becoming a mass tourism destination can be a double-edged sword, creating new jobs, business opportunities, and economic benefits. It can also come with adverse impacts, deforestation, sewage runoff, overuse of chemical pesticides and fertilizers, land grabbing and losing traditional ways of life are challenges that can grow as the tourism industry expands. In Inlay Lake, some investors and communities are pioneering sustainable tourism. ตะวันเจมาရှိနေတဲ့အာလူတွေပဲဖြစ်ဖြစ်တိရစ္ဆာန်ပဲဖြစ်ဖြစ်တပါဝပဲဖြစ်ဖြစ်အကျိုးရှ
supporting a collective identity is one way to preserve heritage. Both the Athea and Red Mountain Estate vineyards overlook breathtaking scenery. Athea Vineyard is pioneering the contract farming of grapes and using organic fertilizer. The company gives farmers seeds, guarantees buying their grapes at a fixed price, and trains them in farming techniques and the safe use of pesticides. Contract farming is often considered beneficial for small-scale farmers. They can preserve their land and have control over production. Both the Athea and Red Mountain Estate vineyards aim to create a domestic wine industry which is inclusive of indigenous populations. Quality investments are focused on building up people and protecting the environment and the natural beauty whenever possible. They're a reminder that running a profitable business does not mean having to sacrifice Myanmar's ecosystems, cultural heritage, or vulnerable groups. <laughs>